Shut up and sit down. Hello, guys and gals. It's me, Epic Dose. And what I'm going to show you today is how to hook up your LS30s to your computer so you can control the chat volume and the game volume separately. Uh, what you got to do is pretty simple. You just want to hook up your dongle, your USB, into the USB, of course. Now, if you just have that, you're going to be able to hear sound and control it, but you're only going to be able to control the chat chat volume and game volume at the same time. You're not going to be able to do it separately. Uh, you, so you plug this in the USB. you got to have the optical cord that comes with it. And in, most computers nowadays have the optical uh, input or output in the back by where your speaker is plugging at. So you got to plug that in. And that is it. That's all you have to do to have that. And then what you got to do is go to your whatever chat service you're using. Discord, Ventrilo, uh, TeamSpeak, and uh, do the settings. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now in Discord. But it will work for all of them. Okay, guys. So I'm going to show you how to set it up in a chat service or, you know, like something like Discord. This is Discord. Um, you also can do this with uh, TeamSpeak and the other services that are similar to this. Basically, all you got to do once you get that USB plugged in and an optical cord plugged in, you got to go in here and you're going to get your options. Of course, you're using the Lucid Sound LS30s. You want to put that as your input device. Um, this is optional, what you want those levels to be. I usually put them, you know, maxed out. And then with the output device, it's going to be on the speakers, most likely. But you want to put it on the, the, this one right here, the digital audio. This will make it so that your chat and your game volumes can be controlled differently and not on one, one wave or one, one control. So this will let you turn down your chat volume and turn up your game volume and separately. So there you go, guys. Hope that helped you out. I had a couple people asking me how, how they uh, could set it up so it did the same thing as they did on their consoles, and that's how you do it. Uh, you just go in here, and you just got to make sure it's the digital audio for the output device, and you got to have that optical cable plug-in or digital audio plug-in for your PC. Some of the older computers might not have it. So you'll be out of luck. But with the newer ones, almost all of them have it. And it's by where you plug your speakers in usually. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope that helped you out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video if you think it will help someone out. Later.